Stranger Things. Let's get a little strange. I don't, I don't know why I said it like that. I'm sorry. So Netflix has a new show out. I'm sure you've heard people talking about it. You've heard the word on the street, dog. The word is Stranger Things. Stranger Things is streaming now on Netflix. It's from a couple of dudes. They're actually twin brothers. They're the Duffer Brothers. So here's the quick and dirty on Stranger Things without spoilers. I'm not going to talk any spoilers in this video because... Because I'm a nice guy like that. So no spoilers. The show takes place in this quiet, small town. Not a lot goes on there. And we get to know this group of kids that are just your typical 80s kids. They are hanging around in a basement. They're playing D&D, &D, talking about Lord of the Rings, and riding around town on their bicycles. Just being kids. Until one night, one of the kids goes missing. And that's when things get a little more exciting. They get a little more strange -er in this small town. Let's see what I... See what I did there? The show's called Stranger Things and I'm sorry, I'll stop. Nobody seems to care right away that the kid is missing, uh, except for his friends and his mom played brilliantly by Winona Ryder. They're all freaking out. The rest of the town is just like, yeah, kid probably ran away or something. You know, that's what kids do. As the mom and the kids are doing their own separate investigations, they start to realize that this isn't a normal missing persons case. There's some seriously weird shit going on here. They even stumble upon a weird little girl with a shaved head and uh, they don't, they're not really sure where she came from. I don't know. Stranger Things is a total love letter to the 80s. As I was watching it, I was constantly reminded of things like E.T., Stephen King, uh, basically any Steven Spielberg movie from that era. I was like, yeah, yeah, the 80s. Ba -ba -ba. Stranger Things also reminded me a lot of Super 8, that J.J. Abrams movie that came out a few years ago, because that was also a total love letter to 80s filmmakers. It had the 80s retro vibe going on. It had kids on bicycles uh, and other weird stuff going on. I really enjoyed Stranger Things. I love the tone and atmosphere. I like the 80s vibe. I love the inspiration from Stephen King and Steven Spielberg and probably other guys named Steven. It also wasn't a predictable show. It kept me guessing with each episode. I just wanted to know more and more. And it also did a great job of combining the sci-fi and horror elements. It was a, it was a great combination. It's kind of risky for a show to lean so heavily on child actors because a lot of child actors, they, uh, well, they suck and they're annoying. But these kids, they were awesome. They were great actors. Uh, kind of reminded me of my childhood. I just want to, I just want to hang out with these kids in a non- creepy way. I just just want to go ride some bicycles and shit. The kids were awesome because they didn't talk like like little adults. They talked like kids and kids cuss a little bit. They they get excited about things. They pick on each other. They just these kids just had a great chemistry. My favorite kid was this uh, curly haired dude. I'm pretty sure his name was Dustin but they called him Toothless and uh, he was really he was really funny and he uh, was a great actor and he kind of showed a talk like this but this is actually a really terrible impersonation. Then there's the character of Eleven, uh, a.k.a. the little girl with the shaved head. I don't want to talk too much about her character because of uh, s spoilers, but uh, she was awesome. She absolutely killed it. Her character would go from very shy and reserved to just stealing scene after scene and having killer screen presence. She... She was awesome. She's probably got a pretty bright future as an actor. The adults were great too, especially the cop played by David Harbour. His character had an awesome story arc. I'm really looking forward to seeing what they do with him in season two. Stranger Things looks fantastic too. Lots of artistic shots going on. It really used its environment as a character, just like Breaking Bad used the New Mexico desert as a character. If I have any gripes on Stranger Things, it's just that it leans a little too heavy on its inspiration, especially E.T., you know, the kids on bikes, the wig, they're hiding somebody in a house, you know, stuff like that. That was straight out of E.T. Netflix has already confirmed season two of Stranger Things, so I'd really like the show to just kind of build on itself, push the originality and, while also keeping the, the 80s vibe and the kind of the sci-fi X-Files mystery thing going on. Overall, I really dug this show. It's only eight episodes. It's a great binge on Netflix. You could do that. You could do that in a day. Just call your boss, tell him that you're not coming into work because you're feeling a little... Well, you're feeling a little strange, and you gotta watch Stranger Things. So in the end, for season one of Stranger Things, I'm giving it a 9 out of 10. Thanks for watching, I'm Jared Cook. What did you think of Stranger Things if you've seen it? Tell me down below in the comments. Thumbs up the video, subscribe to my channel for more videos, and um... Stay alive.